Good morning, ACHS. This is Gabe with your morning announcements. There are currently no new announcements for today. On to your weather with adults. Good morning, Bearcats. Here's your weather for the day. We're going to have a high of 71 and a low of 51. Today is going to be cloudy and a 4% chance of rain. Wind will be up by 14 miles per hour. On to your next segment. Good morning, Bearcats. Here's your COVID updates for the day. We have actually gone up in one seven-day average case. That's not really much. So let's look over at the deaths. Our seven-day average of deaths is around 100. That's pretty bad. Make sure to wear your mask and stay safe. On to your next segment with Gabe. Hi, welcome to a little positive info because we can all use some optimism. An enzyme that degrades plastic six times faster than before has been created by scientists and can be used in recycling within two years. The enzyme derived from a bacteria that, that naturally evolved the ability to eat plastics and enables the full recycling of plastic bottles. Scientists believe combining it with enzymes that break down cotton could also allow mixed fiber clothing to be recycled. Today, millions of tons of clothing is either dumped in landfills or incinerated. Plastic pollution has contaminated the whole planet, from the Arctic to the deepest oceans, and people are now known to consume and breathe microplastic particles. It is currently very difficult to break down plastics into their chemical constituents in order to make new ones from old, meaning more new plastic is being created from oil every year. Combining different approaches could speed progress towards commercial use. If we can make better, faster enzymes by linking them together and providing them to companies like Carbios and work in partnership, we could do this within two years. In 2018, work had determined that the structure of one enzyme called Petase can attack the hard crystalline structure of plastic bottles. They found by accident that one mutant version worked 20% faster. Combining the plastic eating enzyme with existing ones could break down natural fibers and could allow mixed materials to be fully recycled. Mixed fabrics of polyester and cotton are really tricky to recycle. Campaigners say reducing the use of plastic is key. Those working on the recycling say that strong, lightweight materials like plastic are very useful and that true recycling is part of the solution to the pollution problem. This has been a little positive info, looking on the bright side with you. Now into your next segment. If any teachers, staff, or students have anything they'd like to be announced, please email us at bearcatbroadcast at anderson.kyschools.us. Thanks for watching and have a great day.